Hello, everybody. <laughs> I forgot to push the go live button. <laughs> Well, that's silly of me. All right. So hello, hello, and welcome, everybody. We are here on our 12 days of live stream where we are each day we have either a craft or a tip, not a craft. It's really just a, a little a handmade gift or item that you can use for largesse or for tokens to give out at arts fairs and such. So um, today what we're doing is we are actually making some wax wraps. Now, usually I would do this in the oven, but I have a one butt kitchen, or really, I guess it's one and a half butts. So you could fit one and a half butts in there. So uh, it just, it doesn't really work well to, to be able to film in there. Maybe someday I'll figure out a way to do it. Um, I just, you know, it's just too much to bring everything out there. So I have this set up here. So what I have here is I just have my little uh, uh, electric griddle. And what you want to do is you want to start out with some wax paper. Wax paper is great because beeswax is really hard to clean up off of off of your dishes. So although it's food safe, this is all food safe stuff. It's natural. Uh, it's just hard to clean up. And if you want to use it again, you're going to want to cover it with wax paper. It's just easier to clean up unless you have something that is dedicated specifically just to that. So um, and I'm using, this is actually a kit that we sell in our Etsy shop. Um, and it comes with, you get two pieces of linen, a little paintbrush, a couple packages of beeswax pellets, which are great, um, our little postcard, and a couple of popsicle sticks. I'm going to show you how we use all of this right now. Um, okay. So, the reason why, what I like about these beeswax wraps is if I'm at an event or something, I can use it to cover my mug, you know, um, to keep the flies out. It's also great for just covering bowls and stuff. And it, it isn't overtly modern. You know, I know a lot of people use, um, they use uh, like covers that have beads hanging down. They're great, but I really like this because it just seems a little less intrusive, a little less modern. Uh, it's It's not, it's not historical. It's just kind of historical esque. It's one of those reenactor isms that um, I have used to keep things, keep the flies out. You know, nobody wants flies in their food or in their drink. So I'm going to put this to uh, about 250, 200 um, is a, a great melting point for these wax. And then I'm just going to take the pellets and I'm going to throw them in here. Let me get you a Another view here. Let's see. Uh, if there's one, I want to make this side bigger. Hmm. All right, well, we'll try this. Okay, so I'm just going to empty all these into here because I'm going to try to make a couple of these. So this does get hot, so you can use gloves. I like to use tweezers. <laughs> so I have, I have these are like jewelry tweezers because I've been getting into jewelry and I'll probably have to do a video about that, um, about me messing up making jewelry because that's typically what happens. <laughs> um, and I'm not probably gonna do some, I, I really have want to do some more, uh, um, experimental archaeology videos. So keep an eye out for those. I'm going to do, be doing some more of that. Uh, so I have my little tweezers here because to protect my fingers. And I'm just going to let this melt. And that's I'm going to use my popsicle stick to kind of stir this down. And, you know, beeswax has a relatively low melting point. It's taking too long. I'm turn it up just a bit. <laughs> So actually, the way that they would, you know, they would have just covered it with fabric or pig's bladder. Um, but this is easier. Um, so while we're waiting for this to melt, let me just tell you a little bit about them. So what we're doing is we're just we're just going to be making these. And when you want to use them, what you're going to do is oh, put one on my little cup here. What you're going to do is you want to warm it up with your hands to get it to 
get a little pliable, especially the colder it is, the harder it is to do this. So just want to get it a little pliable. And you could use these at home too. Like uh, there's plenty of people that use that, like make cotton ones out of pretty cute little quilting cotton. Um, you just warm it up a little bit with your hands and then you just put it onto whatever you're going to do. You could, you, and you could put this in the refrigerator or whatnot uh, to cover your leftovers. Just going like that. And you just kind of put Block. Getting bots on my on my comments here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half so it'll fit in here. I'm gonna actually a little more in the center here and just allow that to soak in. And you can use the brush to kind of get that beeswax to kind of get all over the place. If you do this in the oven, what you would do is you would use like a, a cookie sheet. And again, use use your parchment paper to protect your cookie sheet, or if you have one that's dedicated, that's fine too. Uh, also, it just helps with cleanup uh, as well. Um, you would melt, put it in the oven, keep your oven door open a little bit and until it melted, and then you would just put the, the wrap on top of that. And once I've got that done, I'm gonna use my tweezers because, you know, 200 degrees is pretty hot. Okay, then pull it out and then I'm just gonna wave it around a little bit until it kind of cools down enough. And you can put these all sorts of different sizes. You could make them cup size, you could make them bigger if you have like a big bowl or something. Um, and then now for cleaning these, you're just gonna rinse them off and you wanna make sure you rinse them off in cool or just warm water. You don't wanna use hot water because you're gonna melt the beeswax off. And these will last probably about six to nine months. Um, and some people say you can compost them, but I just re, uh, I just apply more beeswax to them. Okay, so this is cool enough for me to take these away. And then we have it. You know, so they're, they might be a little sticky at first uh, because it is natural beeswax, you know, but these are great. Let's do another one, shall we? This is fun. <laughs> Woo. Melt that around there. And I'll put a link in the description to our kit that we use for this, that we have for this. Comes with instructions too, and you can always watch this video. So yeah, so after these are, after you've been using for a while, you'll see that the, um, these wax will start to degrade after a while because it's a natural, natural thing. And that's just what happens. So you'll see that it starts to degrade after a while. And all you gotta do is just repeat this process. And actually I keep using my parchment. I just put it aside because I don't wanna have to use another piece. It's, you know, <laughs> it's just wasteful. And it, it's not like it, you know, so you could just put this aside with, you know, your beeswax to use again. And then you can trim it before or after you put it in the beeswax. 
Some people use pinking shears, but I have found that once the beeswax is on it, it doesn't really ravel. It doesn't ravel, so I'm not too worried about that. It was, you know, it just soaks through so quickly and easily. It's this is so darn easy. All right. Can see that my my piece of wax is going to one corner, so I'm going to try to get back on here. Put it in there and use my brush to just kind of spread it out throughout it. You know, and you can use, if you have cotton, you can use the cotton too. This is a relatively easy thing. It's it's hot though, so you do need to be careful of that. Oh, it just, it just blue bees wax everywhere. Notice how I'm wearing an apron, because well, get it all over myself. I don't want to do that. And we're just going to allow it to just flap it till it gets cool and dry enough to handle. Ooh, what day is it? Tuesday. Do, do, do. All right, that looks good to me. It's still warm, but it's cool enough to handle. Plop it around a little bit more, and there you have it. And then what you can do, I mean, you can even fold these up. It's fine to fold them. Uh, you might get some creasing, because again, it's beeswax, so. But then what you can do, you can either like make it like a little stack of them in different sizes, and you can put together a cute little, you can take a little bag, make a little bag to store them in. So that you have a nice, neat little way to store them, to carry them around. It, voila, and that's it. So this is a great gift for, it's also good for the environment. So we are all for that. That's one of the things I love about doing the historical reenactment stuff. You know, you find a lot of things that, because we like to figure out what, what we did, what was happening back then. And, how they did things back then they didn't have plastics they didn't have a lot of the conveniences we do today so it's kind of cool to to experiment and see what sort of things we can come up with so